three, two, one, action! Action! Well, welcome back. We just arrived in uh, Chengdu, China. And uh, yeah, welcome back to the Unmasked vlog. But this time it's a special one. It's the Aviation Tour Edition. Check that out. I think it's a 3,000 cap. Yeah, it's the first one of, on this uh, on this trip, and also uh, among the aviation tour shows. It should be pretty cool to kick the the tour off finally. What Chinese uh, words have you learned? How am I talking about? Good McDonald's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> leo, 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 leo. It's time to donate, Justin. Time to make a donut. Donate, not donut. Uh, time to donate. <laughs> So American. <laughs> but we are donating? Tell him what we're donating or what you're donating. I'm going to donate 100,001 dollars. He's gonna plant 101,000 trees. 101,000 trees? That's gonna be 100,000 trees. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, take us through it. Okay, so we're on the website now. We can see the, the biggest donation so far has been done by Mr. Beast. 100,000 trees. I dare you to take the space from me. We're about to. If this works, <laughs> hundred zero zero one. One zero 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 one. That's one million, dude. No. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> <laughs> Do the card number stuff. Yep. Complete the donation. There we go. Yeah. It worked. What now? I was that So we gotta practice, everybody. Okay. And uh, also with Corsac. Uh, Do you have? Uh, <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Uh, you change your color. Uh, what do you mean? Now it's so Christmas. <laughs> cool. We're gonna do some preparations now. Do a few run throughs before five. That's in uh, 23 minutes. See you afterwards. Good luck. Okay, bro. I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. So people can understand uh, how this tour is all set up. We got the theme song for the tour, we got the game, which is also kind of like dedicated to the tour and also has the song integrated there. It's been a quite a hectic but fun journey in a way. It's uh, required a lot, not only for me, but like the entire crew and everybody uh, to prepare and rehearse and everything and put everything together. And working with a band has been really fun. It's been a very uh, kind of like difficult uh, challenge for me because uh, I'm usually just on stage mixing and tricksing uh, as a DJ, but then you jump behind a keyboard. You have a bunch of tools that you're never really familiar with yourself with and uh, each and everything triggers one specific sound. So you have all these sounds, you have the Blocks, you have uh, the vocal chops and everything. Uh, it's a lot to kind of take in, digest, and be able to kind of like memorize and then perform. Couple of hours before the show, what happened? The amplifier for the guitar that stopped working. It's got a new one now. Yeah. Okay. This is like computer science. <laughs> I started off without knowing how to play the piano. I only I, I could program the melodies in, in the software, but uh, I couldn't play the piano. And I felt like that was wrong back then. Uh, that I could make the music, that sound could sound incredible. It, not only to my ears, but like uh, apparently to many people's ears. And that kind of like motivated me to start learning the songs. It's still like super scary when I perform because I feel like I have a kind of like vulnerability of messing up and uh, that kind of like also makes it a little bit more scary. Thank you, Cynthia. I love you guys. Have a fantastic night. My name is Alan Walker. Until next time. Thank you, Cynthia. Congratulations, man! Thank you. <laughs> wow. How was it, the first show? Uh, it was good. Very different. How, how was it different? 
because I don't play like that normally. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I think that you've done 600 leader sets and then you're going to you're going to do this for the first time. Yeah. Basically, 100% live and everything. Uh, scary, scary, scary stuff. I was so nervous. Like my, I, I tried my best to kind of stop my hands from shaking in the start. Super fun, but yeah. Why is everybody running? We gotta get out of here. Andy invited us once again uh, for dinner. So now we just gotta find a place. What's up? Something going on here. Yeah, this is a labyrinth. I was always surprised when it's uh, Andy is organizing and something. That restaurant is bigger than like IKEA and Bergen. I feel like this just could would be like one section where you could like look at sofas and then table. Wow! I ordered a smart table. Sorry. How are you doing? Good to see you. So yeah, this is the man and the myth. Andy. Hello. This is a very famous Chinese wine. Does it normally not come out? <laughs> uh, just small glass like this. Is it very strong? It looks like very, it's very strong. <laughs> I think it's somewhere around 50. 50% 50 alcohol in wine? Uh, yeah. Tell me, what is that? It's a very famous Chinese wine. And we got yes, the small glass. The smallest uh, wine. <laughs> Why don't you try it? Let me get one bottoms up with you. Okay. Uh, it's Gambe. Cheers, man. Gambe. <laughs> How was it? Strong? <laughs> what are you eating? It's called San Dai Pao. It's San something sweet. Chewy. <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> this is a sweet sauce. So this is what we call the Peking duck. Okay. You rolled it? Yeah. Whoa. Eat it. Try it, try it. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Okay, same as this is. Peking duck. Good? That's good as usual. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> All right, <laughs> different. As well. I didn't expect that. So that was it for today. Uh, we officially been to the Chinese IKEA rest restaurant, whatever building. <laughs> it's massive. It could easily be like the world's biggest yeah, restaurant building. Oh, there's so many floors, and this is like. I don't know, all private rooms. And now we're going back to the top, get some rest. <laughs> Extra noise cancelling. They're currently in the middle of the rigging everything up, and uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Like, it's seating, like, everybody has to sit in the concert. That's quite different. I don't know how that's gonna be. Hopefully, it's gonna be fun. It's tiring, but it's definitely worth it. And uh, if you're ready for the next ones, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be hectic, and it's gonna be special. Yeah. <laughs>
learning the peaks and limits of my voice. Knowing that I was that guy in school, I was like super scared of performing or like uh, speaking in front of the class to um, then like having 11,000 people come and see me do my act is, I don't know, it, it sounds like it's a joke. I feel like I've learned everything now. Uh, I'm learning day by day, uh, improving day as we go on. We're meeting up at the venue like, I don't know. 12 hours before uh, the performance, it's crazy. If I weren't working hard for this, I don't think we would have been able to do the performances that we're doing today. What is up, Shanghai? My name is Sam Walker. How are you guys feeling tonight? It's been amazing so far and it's been really cool to kind of like sell out uh, arenas around in China. It's definitely proven that the hard work pays off. Thank you guys so much Susie, for coming out tonight. And now, if you guys are ready to go one more time, now please let me see your flash lights up in the air right now. Bring them up, put it up, put it up. And let's sing this song right here, right now, together. 